Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to extract Jedi Fallen Order models from the game using Blender and U-Model. First you're going to want to head over to blender.org and download Blender, the newest version. So once you download that, head on over to U-Model, guildor.org, click the download button here. You select the version you want. Once you've downloaded the, your operating system's version, head on over and search up in the Google bar PSK Blender Add-on. Click the first link, which leads to GitHub. You come here, click code, download zip. So once you download it, it should pop up in your bottom left corner. Then go off to downloads, right? And open up extract this zip right here and the, the python file should be inside it so next thing you want to do is once you've installed U model you need to have jedi fallen order uh, downloaded and installed on your on your uh, computer so basically what you've got to do is you've got to locate the game file so for me it's in jedi fallen order star wars game content and this folder right here packs and then install it here so next thing you want to do open it up and here it's already found the path to game files because I've installed it in this folder so yeah that will save you a lot of time in the future when you want to try and find the files next thing you want to do is click override game detection Unreal Engine 4 because that's the engine it's using then you want to scroll down and select Jedi Fallen Order that way it can uh, export the files from there then you click OK and it starts extracting and there you have it all the files so you can head on over to characters and you can select whichever character you want to extract uh, the one I'll be doing for this video, because it's quite simple, is the Stormtrooper, just the basic Stormtrooper. So you click Rig, Rig.uasset, and Open. There you have it. There's the model right there. So, to export this, you're going to want to click O export and then whichever and then export it to the file of your location the f file location of your choice and click OK and then you can head on over to your downloads or wherever you have it and there it should be right here the model so what you're gonna want to do is find the stormtrooper c stormtrooper n stormtrooper rma these should be quite easy to find considering they're the biggest files out of all of these ones right here so same thing export uh, try and keep it in the same location then it's easier and if you go back click game characters They're already exported with it. So yeah, then head on over to Blender, open a new project. You need to go to Edit, Preferences, then Add-ons. And then you're going to want to install and find that file, the PSK file you downloaded from hit GitHub uh, at the beginning of the video and install the add-on. Once you have it installed, it should be the same one as you guys. There we go. Unreal Skeleton Mesh Animation Set 280. So yeah, it's enabled. So that means when you want to import a file, you can import a PSK. So then you just have to find your, your model. And boom, there you have it. So what you want to do is the armature, the skeleton, might be uh, might be inverted. 
Okay, so now all you have to do is click skeleton mesh PSK. Stormtrooper rig, don't invert root burn. There you have it. And then you just click import PSK, just like that. And you might see it looks a bit low resolution. Right click on the model, shade smooth. Head on over to this triangle right here. Click normals, auto smooth. And there we go, it looks slightly better. So now you might wanna you might wonder how you need how to apply the texture. So I'm just gonna quickly hide this by clicking H. We have it right here, material preview. So if I just open up a new window here, shader editor, and we click use nodes in the material tab. Use nodes, and that's just a basic principle. So what you want to do is go back to the file location of your installed model and bring these three into the into Blender. So color, normal, roughness, metallic. Okay, so what you want to do is hook this one color to base color. You want to swap, uh, you want to attach that to this and roughness and you want to switch this to non-color then last thing normal map shift a to add a new node normal map attach it to that hook these two together and there you have it that's the texture ready to go and then that's pretty much it you can do this with uh, any model from the game it might be a bit different for faces and hair, but for most characters with helmets and uh, blasters and props from like the levels, they should all just be this uh, straightforward. So yeah, you can use these models for mods. You can use them in um, animations, fan films, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just And if you want to render this out, you just go click zero to reach your camera and view lock camera to view scale this down a bit and then we can go to the cycles render engine and if we just ha add an hdri or environment texture you can find out more about this if you just search it up on youtube so yeah there you have it you can just start making animations and rendering stuff out in blender thanks for watching guys please leave a like and subscribe and yeah peace